Hey y'all, I'm Shana and I'm back with another review. This is for Tyler Perry Sisters, season seven, episode 11, Gone Girl. This is the mid-season finale. So after this episode, we'll be back in May. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you're new here, if you're not, either way, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoy this type of content. Also check out my other videos, you know, to get us through in the meantime until Sisters comes back in May. So we start off the episode, <laughs> we see a crime scene, honey, at Gary's office, but we see a cleanup crew cleaning up the blood that was shed from Penelope, but we don't see Penelope. She's nowhere to be found. We don't know where she's at. And so the boss of the cleanup crew was like, you know, this ain't my first rodeo. We've been here many times before. And I'm like, how many times has Gary done this? Who were these women? How did he get away with this? This whole Gary thing is just, it's getting wilder each episode. And it's like, what kind of FBI investigation was this? I ain't seen nobody ask him that near question yet. I don't know. So <laughs> Gary was like, look, I did it. Clean it up. And it was like, okay, I guess they'd rather be like, look, rather than me type of thing. I don't know. Child. So, and then it's like, you got money for this, but I thought all your funds was tied up. Child, I guess he got a secret stash somewhere. Okay. So suddenly we see Andy, she's at Jordan's place. She jump up out his lap. She was in a deep sleep. And she's like, I had a dream, you know, a woman was screaming and you know, there was blood everywhere. It looked like a massacre. And you know, all of it. I'm like, is this a dream? Was it all a dream or no? Well, like, what's going on here? But okay, we'll, we'll get back to it. So Karen and Sabrina are on the phone. It seems like they are interacting on the phone a lot more lately. Before it was strictly Karen and Andy communicating and then Sabrina and Danny. It was never like Karen talking to really anybody else. <laughs> but, um, Karen is sick of the sister circle, befriending Fatima, because Sabrina's like, I want to do mocktails. You know, I'm not really drinking right now because I'm freezing my age. You obviously can't drink. So let's just do mocktails. And Karen's like, well, obviously Danny's not going to do that because she like to have a little drinky drink. And Sabrina was like, she got to be in solidarity with us. And, and y'all know she's not. <laughs> y'all pregnant and freezing eggs. She ain't. So you know she going to have a little something on the side, okay? But um, <laughs> Karen was like, no Fatima. And I'm like, see, nobody probably wouldn't even think about Fatima until you said it. But since you want to bring her up every time, now Fatima's on their radar. They wouldn't think about inviting her until you kept saying something. But um, she just has an issue. She's sick of her sister circle being friends with Fatima. And to an extent, I understand. I get it. Because Serena was like, what's wrong? Fatima is cool. Like, okay, y'all can be cool with her, but stop bringing her around me. <laughs> like, if there's something you want me there, then she can't be there. If you want her there, don't invite me there. It's just that simple. And it could be childish, petty, whatever. But it, it, listen, it's a lot going on between those two. Y'all just got to respect it or not. And just don't invite neither one of them. Shoot. So, so Sabrina's boss comes in her office. She offers her the branch manager position. And I'm like, I ain't seen her sign no paperwork. No, where's the formality? Did she get it in email or what? She just like, yep, you got the job. Like, have a good day. And I'm like, Tyler Perry don't even make this look realistic at all, ever. But, you know, I digress. Um, I think we all knew she would get the job. In the meantime, Karen calls Danny to tell her about the mocktails. And she says, and don't invite Fatima. You know, it's just us. And Danny was like, I am not no small child. I'm a grown woman. If I can invite whoever I want to invite, you can't tell me what to do. I mean, touche, but I feel like out of respect, you just, you know, if it's just supposed to be y'all, Missy, Danny, and uh, Karen never really liked each other. From the very first episode, it was a lot of tension between these two. So, you know, I don't even know why they've been friends for this long. I don't know why they've been friends at all. It's giving frenemies. So um, Danny hangs up on Karen, and Karen was like, B B I T. So she take her frustration out on Pam like usual because Pam was like, is everything okay? She's like, get back to work. I'm yelling at her like she always does. She Pam better than me. Because when I say I would have filed a lawsuit or something by now for the way she's talking to me, <laughs> ain't no way I would have still been working for Karen at all. But then Karen apologizes because she knows that she, she needs an ally. Okay, she needs somebody to have her back. So she ends up inviting Pam out for backup. 
And Pam, gullible, just falling for it. Like, no, you're not about to just use me for no backup after you think you can mistreat me and talk to me any kind of way. But Karen about to lose all her friends, so she might want to be a little nicer to Pam. I mean, we on season seven. It's time. Okay. So Zach brings breakfast to the law firm because anybody can just come strolling up in there. They can sit down, eat, you know, whatever. They can do whatever they want. Rules and regulations and stuff has gone out the window. So Danny calls while they're eating and she invites the team out. But Fatima's hesitant because Karen gonna be there. So she's like, I don't know. So after they get off the phone, Zach was like, you know what? That may be a good idea. Like maybe I can call it a truce. So y'all gonna be in each other's lives. Zach, we didn't get the, re the paternity results yet. Not so fast. Okay. But it was like, y'all gonna be around each other. You might as well, you know, call it a truce. Well, Karen don't want to do that. So there's that. Um, then we see Miss Marie. <laughs> she at the law firm. She's speaking to Andy. You know, she know nonsense, honey. She already was upset that Andy wasn't in the office. She like, I don't have no appointment scheduled. But she like, whenever I need you, you need to be available. Like, I know this is a high profile client, a billionaire. But lady, if I don't, if if my start time is at nine or eight or whatever, then expect me to be there at that time. Not on your time. Okay, if you need me to come early, you need to let me know. But anywho, so she says, you know, Andy said she did this and that, and she put out a, a gag order or whatever. And Miss Maria is skeptical. She's like, I don't really think you know what you're doing. Like, I don't think that's going to work. And, of course, Hayden slides in, and he saw, he's like, yeah, we can enforce, enforce the prenup and the postnup that your husband signed. And I'm like, Andy, you didn't see that? And he's like, it's not that simple. And Miss Marie was like, I don't think you know what you're doing. Like, I think y'all need to work together. So we know that they're going to be working together. She's like, I knew you need to co-counsel. I think y'all need to work together to give me my money. Y'all need to figure it out. So she officially makes Hayden co-counsel. Mm. And all I'm thinking is, where is uh, Tam, uh, Tam, what's his girlfriend's name? Tamara. Where is she at? We ain't, we ain't seen. She slept with Gary and just went on by her business. But okay. So Sabrina, she goes to Maurice's place to tell him the good news. And he was like, yeah, I mean, I think you got the job because I had dropped a dime that Paige was giving, giving Felicio in the branch parking lot. And I was like, mm, I thought they was going to give it to her anyway because she stood up for herself. But I guess <laughs> Maurice put the extra chair at the top, the icing on the cake, honey. So they all excited and Sabrina offers him his job back. And I'm like, finally, get him back in the bank because I am sick of this OnlyFans nonsense. But here Tyler Perry go again, like, were they hiring for that position? And was there a link up? Does he need to reapply? Like, how does this work? You just, yep, you got your job. And he just comes back in. That simple. I mean, I guess. Okay. But and then he was like, you know, family that gets paid together, stay together, or whatever he said. And I said, y'all, I'm going to go watch a family that prays. So that's Tyler Perry's really, like, one of his only good movies, if we're going to be honest. Okay? No shade. But, um... Pam, <laughs> she wants to go to the branch. So she's talking to uh, Karen. She's like, I want to leave a little bit early because I'm going to go to the branch and talk to Sabrina about getting a business loan. Is Sabrina the only person in town that can get this done? It's like, it's no other lawyers. Like, first of all, how is Hayden jumping in on Andy's case? I didn't think he was a divorce attorney. How did he, how's he handling a divorce case? And then it's like, Sabrina, the only person who can do business loans? No one else? There's no other banks? Okay. So <laughs> she was like, yeah, you know, I talked to the lawyer that Andy referred, and he said I should open up a business account, and I'm trying to be legit, like my role model. And Karen, like, who are your role model, girl? Oprah, you know, Beyonce. <laughs> and I'm like, y'all play so much, as y'all know Pam is Beyonce's real-life cousin. And so she's like, all those women are great, but you know, you're you're my inspiration. I look up to you. I need Pam to get like a better storyline. Like get her a man, get her, I'm gonna see her with her own friend group or something else. Like kissing up to Pam is just getting tired and through, honey. So Danny's boyfriend replaced her pearl necklace that his daughter finessed, finessed out of her and got it right up off her neck. He gave her real pearls though. This time, not that, not those cheap plastic ones. She's what she would wear or not. <laughs> You got some real ones, okay? Are people still going around wearing pearls like that? Or did I miss the memo? Is something going on I need to know about? But you can't go wrong with real jewelry, okay? 
So Andy tells Fatima <laughs> that uh, Hayden weaseled his way into her high profile case. And of course, he like, my ears is burning. Y'all talking about me? Of course, he's lurking around. I don't know how he gets any work done because he always standing outside of Andy's office listening to what's going on. So she like, she's talking to him and he's like, F you, Fazima. And she's like, you already did. And it was awful. And that's why you're so pressed now. Like, that's why you can't let me go right now. And well, she do got a point. But he did let her go a little bit when, uh, when, when Tamara came or Tamia came up there. So Andy and Hayden are arguing over who's going to be the new partner of the firm. It probably won't be neither one of them. But more importantly, where's Robin? What happened with that? Anyway, Jordan is interviewing some clear man who's former military. He's trying to be a part of his campaign. And he seems suspicious, like he can't be trusted. And I don't know why Jordan got this man in his home. But he hired him on the spot. And the guy immediately leaves and calls Gary's partner, who he works with over at his office, and tells him he got in. So they still, we don't even know what happened with Penelope. That was light work for him. He said, forget you and that baby. I don't care. He's too busy worrying about trying to ruin Andy's life because he has nothing else better to do than to try to ruin Andy's life still. Like, let that woman be. Andy need to just move up out that penthouse and remove herself from anything that has to do. Let the car go. All of it. I thought she let the car go before, but then she didn't. I don't know. Free yourself from anything that has to do with Gary. So Rich is making mocktails for the ladies. I guess they're meeting at his juice bar. And he also surprises Sabrina with a new work bag because she got promoted. And they're up there cuddling and, you know, kissing. And I'm like, watch her end up getting pregnant naturally by Rich. And he going to be pissed. <laughs> If, they, if that don't happen, then just let him go, because why is he here? So the ladies start coming in, you know, slowly, one by one. So Andy, Sabrina, and Danny were there with Fatima. And they were like, you know, you're a part of this. The, Karen's outnumbered. We all like you. You're a part of this friend group now. You know, you have, you, you the other, the second mother, the bonus mom of Karen's babies. So you family girl. Damn, mess, ooh, child. Of course, Karen hears as soon as they said it. She walks in like, oh, is that so? With Pam. And I'm like, you walked in with Pam. Like how Andy be walking around with Fatima, like Fatima, her guard dog. Like Pam can't fight. Them. Pam don't give me like she really bout it. So you walked in with Pam to do what exactly? <laughs> okay. So <laughs> Danny pulls out some liquor out of her purse. And Fatima was like, yeah, girl, give me a little bit too. Because this juice, you know, she's like, it's a little thick. Like I got something to loosen that up. So, of course, Karen calls her selfish, and Sabrina was like, you were supposed to be standing in solidarity with us. And they get to arguing, fussing, fighting. Fatima and Danny mention the, the paternity of Karen's babies. And Danny like, oh, because you don't know who your baby daddy is? We supposed to act like you, Mother Mary? Like, what? And Karen said, uh, Fatima already sold her man. She can have her friends, too. And Fatima was like, no, my man. Don't mess with my man. <laughs> Pam chimes in. And Fatima, like, girl, who even talking to you? Like, I don't even know you. I, I was letting Karen slide because she's pregnant, but I could have my foot up your behind real fast. Okay. And Pam was like, um, you don't know me. You talking about I can get it. You don't know me. You better Google me, baby. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an influencer. Like, girl, you only been influencing for what the last three months we. Don't know nothing about it. Sorry, sis. <laughs> so Fatima said, uh, she, she, after she was like, I don't even know Pam, Sabrina tries to de-escalate the situation, and Karen's upset. She's like, why are you always trying to fix things? And she's like, sometimes friendships just run their course, and that is very true. Sometimes they, it looks like that friendship between uh, Karen and Danny ran its course a long time ago. Like, y'all don't have to hang out as a foursome. Y'all can just hang out separately. It's fine. So Rich comes over and he like everything good over here. And they basically tell him to get lost. And Karen's like, ain't nobody call you. And Sabrina's like, don't talk to my, my man, my man, my man that way, girl. Are you tripping in his establishment? Okay. So uh, Karen was like, you know what? Let's go. And she tell Karen, she tell Pam, like, let's leave. And Pam going to yell out when they was walking out, talking about roots to riches, bitch. And Fatima was like, never heard of it. Who child, a mess. So 
just then as everything as that's going on because Sabrina like ain't nobody come check on Danny and nobody did and I was like you know what I don't know I can't even say like it's the pregnancy or nothing Karen attitude been trash this entire time she's been getting on my nerves I would have been cut her off but that's just me um, Jordan calls Andy and he tells her he hasn't heard from Penelope and he's worried that she's trying to calm him down and she's like look me and Fatima got to go. Like, sorry, we didn't cheers your promotion, Sabrina. But bye. So Andy and Fatima pull up on Gary, and you know they threaten him over Penelope. <laughs> Fatima got her pocket knife up to his neck. He's talking about put it a little closer to my ear. And he like, oh, she ain't really about that. Like, she ain't really gonna do it. And she's like, I already had it out for you over Zach, and now this, like, please don't tempt me. But I'm like, he keeps talking about first was Zach with the little pow pow, the the you know, the the G U N na 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 na. -na. <laughs> he already told him that he wasn't gonna do nothing. Now you tell him a team she ain't gonna do nothing. You keep on telling people they ain't gonna do nothing. You gonna come across the, the right one at the wrong time. Okay, you better stop thinking that ain't nobody gonna do nothing. Okay, you can't go around just pushing women and thinking that um you that type of behavior ain't gonna come back to bite you. But uh, he was he was like, I'm not scared of your guard dog, Andy. Like, I don't care about your minion. And she was like, don't make me go in this bag. And I'm like, keep talking about this bag. Just open it up. Open the bag up already. What's in there? So they they was like, leave her alone. Andy need to be saying, leave me alone. That's what he really need to leave alone. He need to leave you alone. Child, I had enough. It's really a shame that Andy can't bring like her man up there, like to handle him. She got to bring Fatima every time, but you know it is what it is. Fatima gonna get the job done. Fatima handled some crazy women in the parking lot one time, and she been Andy's secret bodyguard ever since. So Karen gets a call. She get the she get back home. She get a call. First it was from him, and then the phone ring again, and she was like, "Oh, something about the branch." And I'm like, and the lady was like, what? And she's like, oh, I thought it was my friend. Like, girl, you got a, I, this is a cell phone. You didn't look at the caller ID. Do you not have your friend's number saved? You, how did you not know who that was? That didn't make no sense. Whatever. So it was a doctor's office. And they was like, we sent over the paternity results. I thought she would have to go in the office for that. You know what? Now, I would say this don't make no sense to me. It don't sound right. But then again, I ain't never had to go to paternity court or nothing like that. So I really don't know how that works. But I didn't think they could just give information all loose over the phone like that. Like she didn't verify her date of birth or nothing. Like she was just like, yeah, I know you auntie. And it's the middle of the night. It's dark outside. It's about eight o'clock. But let me tell you these results right now. I'm like, OK. <laughs> Tyler Perry. I guess he was trying to, you know, and they got writers in the room. Like what? Because, you know, he took his horrible writing skills over there to Mia Coppola. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> so she was like, I, I already know it's Zachary, whatever. And you got to tell me. But, I mean, it's a formality. I guess if you just want to let me know, to go ahead and spill it, girl. And she's like, yeah, you're right. He is the father of one of the babies. And she was like, what you mean? Like, girl. I'm sorry, but how embarrassing is that? And this is no shade if you are in that situation. You know, I ain't shaming nobody or judging. I'm just saying, they already be trying to shame women for having two baby daddies or two completely separate different babies. But twins, how do you explain that your twins got two different fathers? Who should, who child? Child, Kevin Samuels tossing and turning in his grave listening to this. <laughs> and that is where the episode ends. So, you know, sisters will be back in May. Can she just give birth? When May come around, I need her to just, it's, 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 it's time. It's time for her to have these babies. Enough is enough. I don't care about this pregnancy no more. I don't. And I really don't even care about what Jordan and this, this, that, this, Gary trying to antagonize and ruin Andy's life is getting a little stale. What's going on? I'm going to see him trying to ruin Hayden's, Hayden's life with Tamika. But y'all let me know uh, down in the comments what y'all thought about this episode. Check out my other videos that I'll be uploading later on. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.